This weekend saw Argentina, of course, win the Copa America, defeating Brazil by one goal to nil. Angel de Maria scoring the winner, but it's all about Lionel Messi picking up his first piece of silverware for Argentina. This is what he had to say about it. I need to get the thorn out from my side of not being able to achieve something with the national team. The happiness I feel is crazy, inexplicable. Many times I've dreamed of this. I wanted to dedicate it to my family, my wife, my children, my parents, my brothers, who many times had to suffer, just like me or even worse. We'd always go on vacation and spend the first few days sad as we hadn't won anything. This time is different. Ali, we, we talked yesterday, and just from a football fan's point of view, you could only feel happy for him. Yeah. Absolutely, unless you're a Ronaldo fan, and then, of course... Oh, yes, and you get into all <laughs> no, that. <laughs> yeah, not so much. In any case, uh, I think what you need, all you need to see and all you need to hear is the reaction of his teammates mm. when the final whistle went. They all went to Lionel Messi. They all were around Lionel Messi. Everybody's heard the criticism, including the players in that locker room, and... I think there was a sense of we're, we are indeed going to do it for Messi. Yeah. And that's the way that this team play. It, it, they defend it and defend it so well and sometimes violently, but defend it <laughs> and to the point to where organized, pragmatic in the matter that they play and say, you know what, we have Messi. He's going to do a little something magical for us and that's going to be enough. We're going to score an early goal and we're going to absorb pressure. And they did this throughout the tournament. But the commitment that was there from all Argentina players and Lionel Messi and Lionel Scaloni, the coach, and saying, this is the way that we are going to be capable of winning in Maracaná, which they never done. Yeah. And so to be able to do it in that manner, I think goes a long way in providing us with a, with a platform in which we can say, this whole conversation about Messi and Argentina and his inability to deliver for Argentina – that can go away for a little while. We don't have to talk about that sure. anymore. And I think the players were tired of listening to that as well. And so that's why the reaction of love and appreciation for Messi from his teammates was so clear to see. What's cool is that he's won millions of trophies yeah. with, with Barcelona, yet the way he's celebrated yeah. and, what, and what he's saying afterwards as well just shows that there's still a little boy in kind of all of these players, you know, that, that, that you just dream of winning something for your country. Well, I, I think, you know, all the things Ali was saying about how his teammates wanted to do it for him, that only comes about because he wants to do it for them. Right. You know, this is not, I just feel sorry for somebody and we'll try very hard for them. <laughs> this is somebody who they, they genuinely, in their heart, want to do well for yeah. because they know that he's done it for them for so long right. that they probably felt as though they had let him down. And so when you put all that together, that's why it's so fantastic. And it's great because it was one of those things that even when somebody asks you who's the greatest player ever, there's no question, he's got to be in the mix. Mm -hmm. But you knew what was coming next. Right. Yeah, but he's never done anything with Argentina. And as much as you hated it, as much as when you understand how good he is, you can't argue with that. Well, guess what? You don't have to argue against it anymore. And he doesn't have to argue against it. It's in black and white. The facts are there. He's taken his team, his Argentina team, to a major championship. And, and the, other, the other thing that I, that I thought was really interesting from the other players' perspective is the idea that any time there was a failure for Argentina, instead of focusing on a miss by Higuain or on a mm -hmm. miss by somebody else, it all went back to, well, that's Lionel Messi failing with Argentina once yeah. again. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you can't help but as a teammate, to think, you know what, he is taking that on his shoulders for yep. years upon years upon years. It's time to get that load off his shoulders. It's time for us to do our part as well. And, and this team came together really, really well. They knew their limitations. They played to their strength, and it showed on the field. It just proved that uh, to his nation that he's, he's, he's not Spanish, that he's from Argentina. Mm -hmm. So now it's done. You know, I was pleased when Ronaldo, even he was against France, when he won the Euro because right. he went for his country. And again, it's very nice to see Messi winning something for his country. You know, as people well. say, what? It's not a World Cup. Yeah, but, you know, maybe. But you don't know what's going to happen in a year and a half from now. Mm -hmm. Because 
I saw a poor Argentina against France during the World Cup in Russia. Uh, I saw them against Croatia be being beaten like 3-0. I said, oh my God, that's not Argentina that I, uh, I'm used to see. Yes. Uh, they are back to a, a very good football uh, and they, they're contenders. I think they're contenders for the, the next World Cup. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.